Hey guys, what's up? So in this video, I'm going to try out another hero who receives an adjustment here in official server. And this one is Guinevere. Now the adjustments aren't really that long. They only increase her first skill and ultimate's damage. As for her skill 1, they increase its base damage by 100 points. I think this is quite a lot, especially in early game. As for her ultimate, the base damage is increased by 230 points in early and 410 points in late. Now that's quite a lot of increase, but to balance it up, they reduce the damage scaling by 115%. And that's it, that's basically all of her skill adjustments. Now, speaking of adjustments, the dev's purpose with this patch is to open up defensive items for Guinevere and to play her better with her fighter role. But the contrary to that has happened. In most of my recent games, I've been seeing Guinevere use more as a jungler now and mostly with tank items. So it got me curious. That's why in this video, I plan to test out Guinevere as a tank jungler. Will she be more effective in the jungle compared to when she's in experience lane? Can this be a rising new role for Guinevere? And that's what we're going to find out. But before we continue, since I already got my ultimate, I think I can start ganking lanes now. I guess that gank was successful. Anyway, I'm currently playing solo ranked here in official server and I'll be our team's jungler. This is the build that I've used in this game while well, here is my emblem. Now, since the turtle's about to spawn, let's see if we can contest it. We had a casualty but we got the turtle. We got the advantage with that one. One of the reasons why I think Tank Guinevere can be good is because how she can secure objectives well. First is the way she can combo the enemy jungler to steal the objective, then dash out. You can also do that without the ultimate using the classic jump in, retribution, then dash out. Moreover, since you've built her with tank items, you won't be too cautious if you get bursted down or not. Anyhow, I'm near our bottom lane and the enemy marksman is advancing a bit too far. Let's see if we can take her down. Seems like we got another successful gang. Now time to contest the second turtle. We killed 3 of them and got the objective. Good job team! Moving on, another thing that I like about Tank Guinevere is her second skill. I don't know if it's just me, but I think it's quite annoying if the enemy tank is not just hard to kill but also tricky to catch. With that, you'll be making enough space for your teammates to reposition or retreat during team fights. Anyway, since it's already almost 6 minutes, it's time to start pushing outer turrets. I think I can start by pushing here. Going on, another thing that makes Tank Guinevere passable is because of her passive. We all know that Guinevere has an extraordinary ability to heal herself, and that passive heals her up by 80 plus 8% of her lost HP each time her energy is filled. So if we'll apply this to a Tank Guinevere with a large HP, she can easily heal up and sustain more damage the larger the HP she loses, which can be advantageous especially if an enemy with low damage output tries to kill you. Anyhow, let's see if I can push their last outer turret before we take the turtle. The 
we kill the two enemies here at bottom. The turtle is as good as ours. Now, my last reason why Tang Kidver is good is because of her ultimate CC immunity. Catching one or two enemies with her combo can cause a great setback for the enemies. Her ultimate can hold those enemies for up to 2 seconds. And that's enough time for your teammates to burst them down, especially if they are squishy ones. You also won't need to think about getting your ultimate cancelled or being bursted down, since you both have immunity and enough defense to sustain damage. Anyhow, I smell a teamfight brewing. Shoot, I was still in the tower's range. Now I just respawned and the enemies are trying to take the lord. Let's see if I can steal it from them. Okay, I lost awareness that I had no teammates to back me up. Good thing they were only able to push one tower with that first lord. Dang, those were some team fights just for our first tower in mid. Anyway, time to contest for the level 2 lord. Both teams suffered two casualties during the team fight, but we got the Lord. We got the advantage with that one. Now, if you're planning for a tank build Guinevere, don't forget to put Thunder Belt in your list of items. It has a unique passive that slows the enemy down and deals true damage based on your extra HP. It's a great addition to your build because it utilizes the extra HP you get from your other items and deal it as true damage. So in other words, building Thunder Belt is like doubling your basic attack's damage after casting a skill. But going back, I didn't know that our Kimi was already engaged with the enemies. Three of the enemies are dead. Let's see if we can push as many inhibitors as we can. I think this match is endable. Yay! I guess we weren't able to end it just yet. Time to retreat. So overall, I think Tank Giver isn't that half bad. 
I mean, it is possible. Though if you plan on using her this way, make sure that your teammates pick heroes that can complement her skills. They should also reconsider filling up the team's overall damage since Giniver will take care of the tanking and sustaining part for the team. I think Giniver is also pretty balanced this way. She's definitely not too OP nor not too weak, though I'm not sure how she'll do if she's built with hybrid items instead of a tank build. But I guess that's for another game. And last but not the least, if you plan to counter Giniver, just pick Kofra. Sorry Giniver means. So going back, the enemy managed to take another lord and it's on its way to our top lane. I think we should kill the lord first. Let's see how we can defend this one. Nice! Four of them are dead, but I think we can't end it yet since all of our lanes are pressured. So we managed to recover our lanes, but most of them are alive now. I think we can end this now if we manage to push their last inhibitor at bottom lane. So I guess this is it. So what can you say about Tank Giniver? Is she more effective as a jungler? Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. That's all for this video. Stay safe and thank you for watching.